Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Chill Time with Kelly. I am your host, Kelly. And today, I am going to be talking about how I keep myself sane during time periods of craziness and new methods um, that I have gotten into. I'm going to tie into some old methods I've talked about before in the past and just overall how I stay as a human and not a robot like I used to when I was dealing with that time of craziness in my life. So one thing that I really appreciate and I love doing is calendar blocking. So on my Outlook calendar, I love to block out my timing to specific time periods. I was saying like, oh, I am busy on this day. Day, can we please reschedule the meeting to that day? And usually um, it always works out. There was one training that I had to do that originally was scheduled for a Thursday. And then the person emailed me back telling me they had to reschedule it to Tuesday. But then Tuesday didn't work out for me. So then it got rescheduled to Wednesday, and it was just so much back and forth. But as long as it worked out in the end, and like I said, it's really only a problem if I make it a problem, because it wasn't like an urgent, urgent, urgent situation that I had to be in. So it worked out for the better, or two. So that way my schedule was not so packed on Tuesday that... I was not going to be going anywhere. And I think that's also what has really helped is when I and when I say this term, I mean it to factor it in my own way. And that is definitely setting boundaries with people. And I just do it whenever I can. And and what I mean by that is Let's say um, on my calendar, on my fixed calendar on a Wednesday, I have a meeting from 12 to 1.30. So that would be my boundary that during that time period, I am completely booked and I don't want to be bothered. I mean, some people respect it, some people don't, but it is what it is. And that sometimes those meetings I can't dodge. I just like those are really important meetings. So, and that's one boundary I said, just so that people don't clash with my schedule. So that way they get my full attention and not only getting half of my attention. Then another one that I also really like to set is after work. Eric, it is straight into school and work. And that could I mean writing or reading or typing away way and that also has really really helped as well because I also put some of that stuff on the back burner but now it has to be back on the front forward burner as well Ella because things have been insane so originally today um was gonna hang out with somebody but I told them eh, I cannot because I have to do X, Y, and Z, and I need to practice um, driving as well. So I backed out of that. I, and luckily, they understood. So, yeah. And then, and then I'm also lucky that during my work day, I, I have that filter on my phone called work mode and that is one boundary I also love because during work mode I can set my phone all those different modes I can set who can contact me who can call me who can text me if I get notifications what apps I can get it get it from and that also has really really helped because in my work mode the only people who I have set on notifications is my is two of my coworkers and my boss and that is it. It those are the only people that I allow notifications from. 
everything else, all my social media apps, all my, all that kind of stuff is on silent because that is not urgent for me to get back to. And I don't need to be here feeling my phone constantly vibrating if I, oh, you get a notification from Instagram, you get a notification from Snapchat. Like, not necessarily to be heard of during the work period. So I just silenced all those. And then I get back to them whenever I can. But with my coworker, my boss, and my other coworker, we need to be... We're with each other every single day, but if one of us is in a different room or the other one has to leave early, so on and so forth, we need to have open communication with each other. And that's what I really like about about like the environment I am in. Everyone is so keen about open communication, which I love. Of, and yes, we can be on email and everything, but I don't have that email app on my phone because it takes up so much space. So I get back to work emails whenever I can, when I have a second to sit down and just go through everything. I probably will also have a lot of work emails by the time I get back to work as well since I'm off. But So, so many different factors really, really help to keep me sane and that my other favorite one is just watching caffeine intake because sometimes when I have too much caffeine it just makes me so jittery I'm not going anywhere or if I'm so jittery and that's just another thing I appreciate eight like I know my own limits so if I'm going above my limit I can stop or cut down so what I'm drinking right now is decaffeinated tea because so because I know this stuff does not strain my throat and I haven't had coffee yet so this will not add any extra caffeine which I love so with that being said that is going to be the end of this episode of chill time with Kelly thank you so so much for watching I will see you all on the next episode